Hi guys, there is somebody who is going is asking about kernels and of course people are new and then they want to learn about the stuff and they say how do I install a kernel? The first thing is if you're new learn what distro you're on, what websites does it provide, what information is there. So we have four or five websites, let's have a look. We have the home, one, two, three, four, five and then the forum. None of it is immediately necessary, but that when you, as you go through a university, you have the first year, the second year, third year, maybe even more, right? And you go through all these years, that's basically also happening here. So information about kernels, you have a look if there is any menu mentioning a kernel. And you say, okay, look at that, that's kernels. So how to install kernels is all documented in here. Furthermore, you have the YouTube. Let me include this again. That YouTube, searching YouTube is not done here. Never done here, right? It's always done, except all, there we go again. It's done like this, at clicks, and then you make sure you have this face here. <laughs> so this is somebody else, Tech Hut. Eric Dubois, Eric Dubois, Eric Dubois. Oh, okay, this is the good link, why? Because it's not that search. Hey guys, this it's not that search that you need. It's this search that you need. So again, if you're more focused to uh, videos and all that, that's all about kernels. And this is a website. We'll read a little bit more, but again, the video will be in there. Now, why I'm making this um, extra video because it's already there. So somebody wants to install the Linux LTS. If we update our system. You get all these applications in. Yes. This is Pure Arch, right? Check it out, learn the names, read the names. I'm not using this little guy, which is an awesome little tool from Manjaro. Great tool. Update is in a terminal and you type update. Couldn't be any easier. Because we want you to read what's going on. I want you to be familiar with the terminal and the commands that you can apply. One of the things that we have is different mirrors. The thing I've changed, I've given you, is will be there in, I don't know, some minutes. If I wanna speed things up, I'm gonna say, just give me this now, yes please, and update. Update as well, very good. Now, oh yeah, I've been messing around with code. <laughs> we have been playing with the AA and that's the Arconlix application that we've um, developing. Now, so as you see, we're basically on Arch, right? This is Arch and this is my personal nemesis repo, my personal thing. So what we're missing is the Pac-Man. Um, well, repositories from Arconlix. Thinking how to get them fastest is probably gonna be via the Arch Linux tweak tool. So you don't have to do this, right? This this bit is because I was testing probably all kinds of things here. So in Pac-Man, you have this on, on, and on. Normally this is the normal situation, right? So that's it. And what you see is our updates. And when I what I want to show you in this video is this particular one, Arch Linux bin git. So you just install and you read. Some of the things get installed in etc scale, right? And some don't. What this means is if, unless you type scale, which is a very handy little thing, but also a very drastic change in your file system, in your structure there, because all I have done is giving you this, a folder called kernels. Want the L Linux LTS kernel, install that one. Want Linux XAML kernel, install that one, and so on. So you can keep it here, but you'll probably want to have it around in your own system, not etc scale, that's root, in your home. Eric home here, main, there is no kernels. Now there is. So this one, moved in here. So just not, not only Linux LTS, 
yes linux lts but not only linux lts at all let's just do a quick copy paste and then we have all of them and people yeah presenter so read right do not run you've read it enter and off it goes you need to tell him the password for the admin and basically we install two things linux lts and linux headers and there's nothing to do or remember it's uh, a few things here at the end that matter and that's it and then you reboot now right linux lts headers in the meantime we've made so many fail safe that it, this is just going to work for you restart you can choose any of the others zen or xen mod but don't do too many kernels right two of them one two not working lts out then xen mod in then xen mod not working xen mod out then right do it like that don't don't start overdoing things it's good to keep one extra right the linux kernel is not gone so now we're on lts right so if i do what i say and i say what i do then i should go to the bin to main and this is not my thing don't like the kernel for whatever reason then you say i'm gonna delete it again all right same text but this time it's remove r remove and i think there is no issue if you say immediately let's go to the xenmod kernel and not reboot So you'll know from the video that is an issue or not. Things like that, questions like that, we all have them, right? Should I reboot or not? Don't think you should. And that saves us a few seconds. So try it LTS for whatever reason, network card, Bluetooth, whatever setting that you think is not working hardware wise, right? You do a reboot or a pseudo reboot and off it goes, a rebooting because you need to apply the kernel. You, this time you really do need to reboot, right? If you want to see, you tap E and look at the line here in the middle, Linux XenMod escape enter so you're booting up if you want to have a quick look did it work then we're now on xenmod is this a better one Pff, i don't know and virtual box it doesn't really matter does it it is important on real metal so have a look that way so bin main kernel xenmod is installed let's do one more and then let's call it a day All right I do a two delete xenmod basically the only thing i'm doing this is to see if i made typos so if i did make typos you come and tell me because i'm not going to test the xenmod lts so xenmod mm -hmm. but maybe this will work that's what you're thinking and then we can see if we remembered to change lts and lts headers and while that's doing its job check out the rest of bin because it's not all well this is how to stay rolling and these are all interesting things in here documented in videos but there's like tanks and then you'll wonder what's tanks tanks what's that oh look at that right so it's not only this technical bit but also the, the puke skull, is that the name? Puke skull? Or it's called puke? Yeah, it's a little thing. And I believe there's an Einstein in there somewhere. But we need to reboot. SR is also rebooting. So there are many gems hidden away. So you really need to read and listen to videos and then you learn, oh, can I do that too, right? And that's how we 
learn. So we have another example, LTS, and maybe you're happy, and then you say, let's think positively, positively, network well, exercise daily, eat healthy, work hard, stay strong, build faith, worry less, read more, be happy, volunteer freely, relax often, love always, and live forever. The last one is a tough one. All right, enjoy. <laughs>